Hello, in this video I will show you how to draw simple geometrical elements like points, lines, rectangles using SDL2. We'll start from our last project. As a quick reminder, last time we've created a SDL2 window and drawn the background in red. Let's move SDL set a render draw color inside the game loop just before render clear and change the color to black. From now on, the background of our window will be painted in black. The STL draw color is a global setting, so if you want to actually see what you draw over the background, you'll need to use a different color. We'll start by drawing a couple of yellow points on the screen. SDL render draw point will let you draw a point at position XY on the screen. As a side note, X goes from left to right and Y from top to bottom. As you can see, the two points are barely visible. Let's draw a couple of random points on the screen. For this, we'll implement two helper functions. We need to add a new C source file to the project. Be sure to check the debug release here. This will instruct code blocks to compile and link the file to our main project. Our first helper function will generate a random number on a given interval. We can use the system time to seed the random number generator. In order to be sure that the seed is initialized only once, we can use a static boolean flag that will store his value between function calls. We also need studbool for boolean values. We use srand with the current time. Don't use this method for large numbers, especially if nurmax is larger than the max random number generated by the run function, or you will have bugs in your code. Our second helper function will generate a random color value from 0 to 255. Next, we'll copy the helper function definitions in a header file. At this point, we can use the helper functions in our main program. Let's start by implementing a function to draw a set of random points with random positions and random colors. For every point, We'll use a randomly generated color if the boolean randomized color is true. For every point, we'll generate a random position with x from 0 to the window width and y from 0 to the window height. Now, let's replace our two original points with a call to the draw random points function. We'll use 500 points and random colors. Build and run. This is not what we've expected. Let's check our helper functions for bugs. Okay, so I forgot to set initialize to true after seeding the random number generator. Let's test the code again. Build and run, and now it works. We can use a similar approach to write a function that will draw random lines at random positions and with random colors. For drawing a line, we use SDL render draw line and we need to define the start and end points.
Now let's test our draw random lines function. This looks better than the random points example. Next, I will teach you how to draw rectangles. Because two-dimensional graphics deals mostly with rectangles or tiles, SDL defined a special structure to store rectangle data, named SDLRect. The first two arguments are the rectangle X and Y top left corner. Next two arguments are for the rectangle width and height. We can use SDL render fill rect to draw a rectangle filled with the current color. Let's test it. We can also draw a wired rectangle with STL render draw rect. Let's change the current draw color to red. Now, correct the function name and test the program. As expected, we've drawn a yellow field rectangle and a wired red one. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe.